Good day everyone. We are to present the life of theorist Hans Isaac. In this presentation, we would give a short introduction into his life during his childhood up until his death, as well as the accomplishments and controversies that he faced. Hans Jürgen Eisenk was born an only child in Berlin, Germany on March 4, 1916. His mother, Ruth Werner, was a notable silent film actress, while his father, Edward Eisenk, was a stage performer. His parents got divorced when he was two, so he was raised almost entirely by his Jewish maternal grandmother. He finished secondary school at Prince Heinrichs Gymnasium in Berlin in 1934. Later on, he moved to England when he was 18 because of his opposition towards Hitler and Nazis. Ising's initial plan was to study physics at University College London. But because of the lack of prerequisites in the physics department, he ended up taking psychology. In 1938, he received his college degree, married a graduate student, Margaret D. Davis, and they had a son named Michael, who also became a psychologist. His first marriage failed, and he had a second marriage in 1950 to Sybil Bianca Guilietta with whom he had three sons and one daughter. He desired to join the Royal Air Force during the Second World War, but because he was a German, he wasn't allowed to join. And he decided to investigate this. Rumble he obtained spine, his PhD in 1940 under the supervision of Cyril Berth. A lot of money from Brabrantos, a family that had gone to the United States, where all money comes from. He was the one who founded the Department of Psychology in the newly created Institute of Psychiatry at the University of London, and he was later made Professor of Psychology there in the year 1955. Isaac was a major contributor to the modern scientific theory of personality. Well, I'm going to talk to you about personality, which is, in psychology, a rather odd subject in some ways. And a brilliant teacher who also played a crucial part in the establishment of behavioral treatments for mental disorders. He also helped in launching the psychological journal Personality and Individual Differences. He ended up writing thousands of articles and nearly 100 books. Now this Freudian stuff is a premature crystallization of spurious orthodoxy. In 2019, 26 of his papers, which are all co-authored with Ronald Grossart Matichek, were considered unsafe by an inquiry on behalf of King's College London. 14 of his papers were attracted in 2020 and journals issued 64 statements of concern about publications by him. Rod Buchanan, a biographer of Isink, has argued that 87 of his publications should be retracted. He also faced some controversies during his time, with him being named a racist and bigot at one point. He died on September 4, 1997, wherein he held the distinction of being the most frequently cited in science journals. On cognitive treatment and on behavioral treatment, there is really no difference. 
uh, that, in other words, you can change cognitions mm -hmm. by means of behavioral mm -hmm. treatment. I think that has a tremendous uh, scientific... That ends our presentation. Thank you.